Hey, it's Blair Lawrence for Blair's Cooking with Qualifers. Today I'm talking about Royal Command's Anise Star. Now the Anise Star is actually harvested off an evergreen tree native to Asia. And the Anise Star is absolutely beautiful. It comes in this 280 gram plastic container here. And since they are so large, there is a measuring and sprinkling side, but an Anise Star isn't gonna uh, kind of go through here. So you're gonna need to open it up to actually access them. Now what's so different about these Anise Stars? Sometimes when you get them from the grocery store, they come all, um, they're not as fresh and they're kind of broken up and they're not so beautiful, whereas these ones are totally fresh and they are whole. Look how gorgeous they are. So they are quite large. And then in the inside of all, like the, kind of like the flower petals of the anise star, there are actually seeds in here, which really gives that anise flavor. Now, what does anise taste and smell like? It smells and tastes very similar to black licorice. So that really, really kind of warm and, um, well, black licorice has such like a distinct flavor. You probably know exactly what I'm talking about. So it tastes just like that. Anise, when ground, is actually one of the five spices in the Chinese five spice. So it's really often used for Vietnamese cooking, for American marinades for pork and chicken and also Chinese cooking as well. But beyond that, you can absolutely use it for baking, for things like a pumpkin pie. You can even just Google it, Google what to put anise stars in and really there's tons of different recipes that call for the anise star. So you can find these at Qualfirst at qualfirst.com. Even if you're making a lot of um, liqueurs and cocktails are spiced with anise seeds. And if you want to kind of garnish with them, you absolutely can. I wouldn't eat them whole because this doesn't taste that great and here's the actual texture of it because it is so hard you kind of got to gr um, gr ground them up a little bit or all the way <laughs> but you can actually garnish with these too so if you're making some sort of rum cocktail like a big rum um, punch bowl um, put these on top and they're going to garnish it and it's absolutely beautiful so again you can find them at qualfirst at www.qualfirst.com thanks <laughs>